Okay, so... I have been ruminating over some shit, right? And I'm, like, always trying to figure figure out what the fuck, right? And I figure, hey, I'm going to talk about it. But warning everyone, this is just me ranting. And it might not, like, have a point. I'm just trying to literally figure myself out and sometimes on this journey of self-love it just keeps going and going and you're like I'm just so confused so so much like I've been, you know, doing the classes, doing, doing the meditating, like, sometimes I can't even feel, and, like, when it comes down to it, not shit has changed that I've wanted, or that has been a goal or a desire, and I've of course made some micro shifts and then like sometimes I will come on here and I'll make these videos and I'll be like feeling really positive and I'll be like hey like this shifted and something did shift but then like it'll shift right the fuck back and so I'm thinking like what am I missing like what and it's not even what am I missing, it's, let's just say, maybe not everyone gets a success story. Maybe some people just get born into shit, they're treated like shit, they're broken so badly that all they do is survive until they die and nobody remembers them or cares about them while they're alive and no one gives a shit that they're gone after. They did nothing special. They are nothing special to anyone. They're just an average piece of shit person on the earth, right? And is that okay? Is that, are you supposed to just love yourself? Like, are you, does the self-love count if that's the case? Something to ponder. So, Damn, I thought I had been talking for like 15 minutes. It's been like three. Anyway, um, so here's, here's what I'm, here's where I'm spiraling back to. I'm spiraling back to, and this is, was not even a big deal. It was just an example because I'm sitting here and I'm like, I hate making videos when I'm not done up, by the way, like judge me if you want, call me ugly, whatever. I know I look better when I have my nails done and my makeup on. I just, I, I've been, it's just whatever. You know what I mean? It's just whatever. Um, so, a long, 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 long time ago, before the rain, before the snow, Okay, no, but really, a long, long, long time ago, when I was just a wee lass in school, in let's say fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh, eighth, probably all the way through maybe ninth, tenth, maybe eleven. I think, I think I pretty much was like fuck this shit by like eleventh. Um, but. The reason this is all, I, like, I don't know, this shit's coming up for me now because in, in current life, in current reality, the fact of the matter is, 
I'm single, I'm broke, I have no friends, and I really have nothing going for me, and I kind of suck, like, at everything, okay? But it's not for lack of trying. And so here's, here's, here's why I'm coming around to this. I'm thinking, am I maybe just, like, not even to be mean and not even to, like, you know, be mean? Am I retarded? Am I, is this what autism is? Like, is, is there something really wrong in my brain that I just can't, like, grasp these concepts or learn things that I am putting real and true effort to learn. And I was like, have I always been like this? You know, and of course I'm doing deep meditating and, you know, I'm trying to figure out basically why everything is just shit. But then I'm also like, wait a second, can I see the positive side? Okay. There are, you know, I try to do that too. So, I mean, don't, don't come at me like I'm just dwelling in negativity because I'm really just actually seeing reality here. And yeah, I know reality is your own concept and it's all inside of you. Okay, well, this is the exact thing I'm having problem with. If it's all inside of me and I'm such a powerful creator, then why the fuck is all this shit so fucked? Because... I have thought that I have felt powerful, that I'm in my power, I'm aligned, okay? But I, I maybe have never been, maybe have never fucking been. Because if I was, then for sure by now, I would have a relationship. I would actually be successful at any of this, these ventures that I've been doing. And, you know, when I get constructive criticism from someone about how I suck and why do I even bother, at my first instinct is to stand up for myself. But then my second instinct is to, yeah, why do I bother? That's kind of what I'm getting at. Why do I bother? Because... Let's go back to the little story that I was going to tell you about when I was a school child, right? Now, I never liked school. Um, but then parts of me sometimes did like it. Uh, you know. Anyway, this is all coming back to me. I have two instances of this, but we're going to talk about this one. Spanish class, right? Now, when I seen that we had the opportunity if we wanted to to um learn spanish i was actually really excited about this like i wanted to learn spanish i um you know give me math science english i never really gave a real shit about any of that shit um and it was kind of like if it didn't, if, if something was told to me and it didn't come like real natural and it didn't just naturally stick to my brain, I wasn't really studying much to like try to like be successful at certain things that I really didn't care all that much about. If something did interest me or if I was like maybe forced to by my parents, like maybe I would like read the chapter about whatever it was we had a test on the night before, you know? Um, and I'm not saying I have like good study skills or anything. I probably don't. But, um, anyway, I was interested. I was interested in learning the Spanish language and I really wanted to be able to like speak Spanish fluently. Right. And I mean, I thought this was something kind of important to me, right? And I would listen in class. I would listen to my teacher. I would, I would, I would be active. I would literally like actively ask questions. Um, 
And I remember going home when there was homework and I would literally like actually do my homework and I would, you know, read like whatever it would say, dog, paro, or, you know, whatever. Um, and I wanted to be able to understand and speak Spanish fluently and well and like really be able to do this, you know? But even after all my efforts, like, I ended up getting a D for, like, my final grade. And I remember, like, every, um, like, I would always get, like, a D. <laughs> like, a D plus. <laughs> and I'm like... And, and I still continue to take the class, right? Because I was just thinking, like, well, I'm just going to keep at it. But, I mean, you know, this, like I said, this was for a while. Because they introduce it to you, you know, like I said, maybe fifth grade, something like that. Um, so, for, like, five, six years, I would, I would try <laughs> to learn Spanish and like, I suck. I, I sucked. Um, and it wasn't about just getting that A on the paper. Like it wasn't about like, I didn't want to just pretend like I knew something. I didn't want to just um, pretend like I was good at it. I didn't want to learn it just because I wanted to see an A on my report card. Like I genuinely wanted to speak Spanish. <laughs> and I never did. I Like yo quiero like I even tried to make stuff sound more natural, like, um, I think, what was it? I, like, and I can't even remember this shit right now, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm not even, haven't been in practice. I, this is just wild to me that I even thought about this, because this is not something that I really felt, like, bothered me in life. Um maybe it's deep down I don't know but it wasn't like a huge deal and I didn't really think too much in it I really just kind of was like well I don't give a fuck about school anyway so I mean a D like didn't really like I didn't care care but I was like I remember I was always like shocked because I was thinking oh maybe I'd get a B or but whatever like it like I said it wasn't about the letter grades it was about like I loved the way it sounded and like when I read about the language and about like how everything makes more sense how it's either like male or female a or o and like words meant something not like how English you have like five different pronunciations for like different meanings of words I don't know I thought it was beautiful I wanted to be able to speak it I wanted to be a person who just wasn't like regular old American idiot, right? And like, I never did. I never could. And like, so I, I sit there and think to myself, the time that I wasted like for nothing like I literally like I literally remember um actually studying for this stuff and then like think about how many hours that must have been right and it's like maybe I could have done something else you know I could have, like, read a magazine or, you know, back then we didn't have phones and internet, you know. I could have could have done anything. I could have gotten me into some trouble, you know. I could have went and done something, but I didn't. I was studying to, like, learn this shit. 
And after years and years, and then about 10th grade, and I think about 11th grade, I was just like, fuck it. Um, I think halfway through 11th grade, I was like, no, I'm not going to take this again. I've, you know, I got by just being a D student. My credits had been fulfilled, and I was like, I'm not putting any more effort into something, any, any school at all, really. Like, fuck school, right? Um, so, I was too fucking stupid, apparently, to learn, and like, okay, I don't want to say it like that, but what if it is like that? What if some people are just not smart, like, or if smart isn't even the word, or if somebody couldn't teach me the right way, well, why couldn't, why couldn't I learn Am I autistic? Why doesn't my brain retain information? Am I, do I have a learning disability? Am I just dumb? Like, these are the questions I'm asking myself now, current, present day. Current, present fucking day. And when I tell you I've spent thousands of dollars to further my education and work with these coaches and like learn how to manifest and learn how to like be the type of person I want to be and I still am not I just think well fuck I could have bought myself a Louis Vuitton bag well fuck I could have been out getting some dick all right maybe not just just being funny with you but I could have been out I could have been out having fun or shopping or <sighs> using this time to maybe try to find you know I don't know I don't know I, I could have been doing anything that's the point I could have been doing fucking anything but I wasn't because this was so fucking important to me to like break this cycle right to break these patterns of everything and like I wanted to be successful like and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, is my current life good enough? Can it just be good enough that I'm just nothing? I'm just some piece of shit, single mom that's gone through abuse and that nobody would even, I'm, I'm nothing. You know what I mean? Like, can I just accept that? Why do I keep trying to be something I'm not? Maybe I'm not maybe I'm not supposed to be in love because you know they say like whatever's meant to be will be maybe I'm not supposed to be a businesswoman or successful because if I was maybe I've already would have been and so I just like like I don't want to suck but like I do so I don't know when, and I don't know if this is just a me problem or a Taurus thing, but I feel like I really, really just stick with things. And I don't know if that's just like a trauma response from being abandoned, because I just, I still, like, still like I have that like sometimes I feel like I still have some attachment to the life I would have rather had like obviously I didn't get married and have a baby with someone to just be alone and to fend for myself and to never get cuddled and to live a sexist sexless life and to never go out to dinner like I didn't get married to just sit here alone and raise my kids alone every single day. So like, 
it's it's like it's like everything I do is just shit. And so I don't bring this stuff up a lot because this channel like you know it's supposed to be more spiritual and personal growth but I have a makeup business right and what's makeup and skincare and I love this shit okay and I love the products like genuinely like I truly believe like my skin is looking so much better than it was like when I first started um I love all the products like you know I don't do my makeup every day but when I do like I love my products right and so let me tell you I have been And maybe this is coming up now because actually at the end of this month, it's going to be my eight year anniversary with this company. Eight years. Okay. Eight years. But like, I can't even remember the last time I got a sale. And like, I kind of just, I, I don't know why I'm not good. And that's the thing. Like. I think that's what bothers me because with the whole personal growth and development and stuff, everyone is just saying it doesn't matter what you do because if your energy is off or your energy isn't aligned or you don't like have a certain belief about yourself, you'll never achieve what you want. And that could possibly be true because it's not for lack of physically trying, like, to be good. Like, I do take very much pride um, in, like, my pictures, um, like... I, I create I, I, what I believe to be unique. Um, and every day looks, I feel like, um, I, I make tutorials that are pretty easy to follow and maybe enjoyable to watch. I mean, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm attempting to be, right? Um, I create a lot of like what I think is eye catching. Um, damn, I just want to like, I want to be in the sun, but I don't want my whole fucking face and chest in the sun, you know? Um, what I believe, okay, is like good quality pictures, right? Like, um, Basically, my thing is that I demonstrate lipstick. You know, and so I do take, a, I, you know, take pictures in different colors, tell people what the colors are. If it's a combo, I'll tell people what the combination is. And like, in turn, I'm thinking people will support me, click my link and shop with me. And I will have a successful sales business. But like people don't click my link and shop. And I think I got like one sale two months ago. And then before that, I hadn't got sales for like four months. And then I'm like, I, but I keep going. And sometimes I get really, really discouraged and I'm like... Um, I have really like mixed feelings when I look back because if it's true that no matter how hard you try at something, if your energy is off, you're just not going to attract the right people to support you. And 
that's where it comes back to all of this stuff. Like, what am I not getting about my energy or my belief or whatever the fuck it is? My connection, like, I, am I, I'm not connected to spirit. I'm not connected to God. I'm not, I'm not feminine enough. I, I don't know. Um, obviously, if I knew... I, I literally would have, you know, not suck. <laughs> so, then I question myself. Am I doing this for my own enjoyment? Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, I do enjoy creating pictures. I, I do enjoy that. Um... But it's not supposed to just be for my own enjoyment. It's supposed to be a business and like something I could be proud of that I'm, that I'm good at. And I'm not good at it. And I don't understand why. Because like I do see that like I think my pictures are pretty good. And yeah, I mean there's there's some other girls in the same company and their pictures are good too. Um, and they're usually pretty successful. And I mean, like I, ha I see like some people like they'll post, Oh, here's the newest shade just released. And then I, I look at all these comments I'm like, damn, they got like 35 comments. And I say, oh, put one in for me, put one in for me. Like they genuinely have supportive people and supportive customers that like actually get excited about the products. And I'm like, dude, this is like what I've been wanting, you know, um, like because I genuinely do have a passion and I do genuinely like care and get excited about the new colors or like new products and like I want to bond with other people about that excitement but I don't have anyone like and I don't know if it's algorithms or just that people don't like me, genuinely just don't like me and don't want to support me. Or if there's just something so off about that I'm not in alignment or that I'm not, um, that my energy is bad or off. Like, so I, I would try to get really mindful about um, because a lot of these coaches and these classes, I was like, okay, well, you got to be really mindful about the energy that you put out when you post. And that's why I don't like, I won't post. Like, the thing about it was, was like, even if I felt like shit and I was like super sad and just laying on my couch, it was like that was something I could do. To not just feel like I'm nothing but a lump on a log that does fucking nothing with their life. That was something I could do. Was post on the internet. Was get on my phone and do stuff. Like, even if I was laying down with no energy, I was able to create graphics. I was able to take the pictures that I had already taken and make something artistic and make like a little advertisement with it. And like, I felt a sense of accomplishment when I do create these beautiful pictures, right? What I consider to be beautiful pictures. And I will post, you know, in hopes that somebody will see it and be like, ooh, I love that. I'm going to buy this. And I, that's just not what's happening. And like, I make an order every month and I want to, hey everyone, um, what can I get you this month? And like, nobody comments. And like, I, 
I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not good at sales. I, I don't know why. Like, obviously, if I knew why, I would, I would change that. Maybe it's something I can't change, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Maybe not everyone gets to have a success story. And I should stop trying. I don't know, because I think, like, damn, I put a lot of hours into this. I put a lot of effort. I put a lot of money, you know, like I do have to like to keep my business alive. I do have to, you know, put some money into it monthly. Um, and of course, it's stuff I would want anyway. But like kind of the whole point of the business was, you know, to make money too. And then I always tell myself, oh, well, another month, nobody wants anything. But, you know, I did need to get myself some skincare or whatever. But, like, so it's not that it's, like, too much. You know, it's not that I, I would never overextend myself. Let's just say that. If it's just me shopping, then that's what it is. It's just me shopping for myself. This is not, it's not like I'm having success with anything. And I just don't know. Um, with all these courses I have taken about, you know, aligning to abundance, being abundant. Abundance is the mindset. When you have belief that something will happen, it will happen. If you tell yourself this, you know, it will, it will be, that's all this and I do that sometimes like even when I would even when I would be like before I even knew any of this stuff and I would post because maybe I was just laying down depressed but I could still post I could still post and post my link and it's like hey you know I, I did something but then taking these courses and realizing, oh, well, when you're posting with bad energy, you know, that repels people. So I'm thinking, well, shit, do people know that I'm just laying here depressed? Like, they don't want to, they don't, they, they don't even see. It's like, because I won't even get any likes. That's the thing. And it's like... It's not even about the likes, really, but then sometimes it is, and it's like, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I don't know anything, and I feel like I'm stupid, and I feel like I suck at, like, literally everything. Um, and, like, maybe I'm not the things I want to be, you know, so badly, like, so badly I remember when I wanted to be a cheerleader in school and it wasn't just because I cared about sports or like I wanted to cheer I wanted that life I wanted to belong to a group I wanted to be pretty like I wanted to wear a short skirt and have boys think I was pretty and like you know, have a group of girls that were my friends, and, like, I just really wanted that whole lifestyle so bad, and I just, you know, I went to the practices and all this shit, and, like, tried to learn these routines, and, like, practice, 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 and, like, I mean, I had fun with it. I liked practicing, and it was, like, I, I liked it. I wanted it to do it. I wanted it, and, um, you know, I didn't make the team, and I tried and tried and tried, and I didn't make the team, so I got to watch the group of girls that I kind of started to bond with, um, make it. And there was, like, only two girls that got cut. And it was, like, me and some other girl that just got cut, you know. And from then on, going to school and just seeing them, like, have fun in their groups. And, um, 
game day where planning like oh yeah like let's wear let's wear our outfits or let's have matching bows let's have matching socks like just having a group somewhere to belong to like a group of friends and like it didn't happen for me and it changed my entire experience of school to not have that um And I just think to myself, damn, I still don't have that. Like, I can make friends, you know, when I do go out. I'm fun. I dress cute. Um, I like to party, dance. Like, it's pretty easy for me to just make a friend if I go out. But then that's that. Like, bye. Don't really see him again, you know. But... You know, that's what all this stuff was supposed to be. Like, I wasn't doing healing and, and, and learning and paying all these coaches. And, you know, I, I take this very seriously. Like, I take uh, my self-improvement and self-development, like, very seriously. And there is a lot of times that I stay home and I do therapy sessions or I stay home because I've just enrolled in another mastermind and I instead of like going out or having fun not that I was invited but um I just hunker down with some food and I I literally watch these classes that I enrolled myself in because I want to learn I want to know like what is this secret sauce that everybody seems to have but me and I'm very lonely and I try to just be satisfied with like self-love which okay like that's not what life is about you know, like, so yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, there might not be any point at all to this video except for me to literally rant because I don't have anyone to talk to and I kind of am just not paying people for sessions anymore, like, because I don't have like a hundred and eleven dollars to just be saying the same fucking thing over and over to people like and then they'll say something oh it's it's within you everything you everything in your outer reality is within you but how like why don't i understand this why the fuck don't i understand this and why the fuck have I not been able to create anything fucking good by now? If I did understand this. Oh, hello, little spider. I'm not going to disturb ya. Better get on down. <laughs> there you go. Um, no, 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 no. Not on my steering wheel here. It's a little baby spider. I'm trying to get it with a leaf so I can just sit in my car. Ugh, you know, anyway. And I think to myself, have I always just been dense? Because I look at how I am, especially with relationships and all this twin flame stuff, and it's like, God. This, this wasn't twin flame. This was limerence. Have you people read about limerence? Dude, I was probably just not even shit, like, to any of these guys. Nothing. Nothing. And here I am with this intense limerence to them. Like, I feel I, that I truly am, like, 
that I, there's something wrong with my brain. Um, and I used to think that like I was capable and I used to have confidence in like knowing things. Like one thing I do know though, I, I do know about makeup and skincare. That's the thing. Like I felt and believed that I was good and I, I had a lot of knowledge to share. But like when I look at the numbers, like this is what basically when I was filing my taxes um, and my tax preparer is like, why do you even do this? Like this is like you're, you know, like you're not good at, like you're not good at this. Like, and I'm like, do I give up? Like, it's just, it's so many mixed messages because they say, never give up on your dream. Is it my dream, though? If it was a goal or a dream, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not doing it for nothing. I would like to earn extra money from my business. I would like to earn extra money and residual income and feel that I am doing something I can like be proud of myself with, you know, that I feel that I'm confident and good at something other than just being used and abused and abandoned. Like, that's not all I want from my life, right? Like, to just be literally abused and abandoned and then left in the same fucking spot where I've been left and never have anything else. And that's what I feel that I'm truly seeing. Like, dude, I'm not any, I've never, I've, I haven't made a life improvement. Like, should I just be okay with just being nothing? And maybe I should. Like, why am I doing this? I don't know. Like, I don't fucking know anymore. I don't have answers anymore. Um, beautiful skin for what? For no one to kiss? For no one to look at? Across the table at dinner? <laughs> Spending my time creating beautiful pictures and advertisements and demonstrations for what? So that nobody clicks on my link, nobody likes anything, I get no comments, I get no support. Is that what I'm doing that for? Should I decide to just not do anything? I guess is what I'm saying. Should being a mom just be enough to wear... I just don't even bother trying anymore. And you know, that's fine too. I'm not saying anything. When I was younger, that the only thing I thought was important was being a mom. And it was for a really long time, especially when they were babies. And I had no problems at all not having any other identity other than being a mom. And I, I, truly cherished that but like I said my youngest kid is almost 10 and like it just feels like I should like progress but I have never progressed and I am still just sitting here in the same damn shambles that my ex left me in and to know that I'm not shit and I've not accomplished shit and that nobody fucking cares about me sucks. It just sucks. To put time and effort into my business to not get any sales sucks. Like, it sucks to suck. And so, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, like, quite frankly. Um... You know, I was pretty good at reading tarot cards. 
But I just don't do that all the time anymore because I, I realize, well, damn, like all this stuff that the tarot cards, you know, led me to believe about like, you know, these guys coming back or missing me or me meeting a soulmate, like that shit never happened. And I had such belief and it gave me hope and it, it raised my vibration maybe, but like, I don't know. Like, let's just be real. I haven't met fucking anyone. I haven't rekindled anything with anyone who's ever meant something to me from my past. Um, I'm not bringing in money. Like, I don't know what the fuck to even do. At all. Alright, well anyways, I'm gonna make my kid a snack. Yeah. So yeah, my kid just got home from school, so I'm gonna make him a snack, and you know, like, maybe that's all I'll ever be, is the person who's home who makes a snack. Maybe I'll never be loved, maybe I'll never be a model, maybe I'll never be a successful businesswoman, maybe for the rest of my days, I'll just be here, existing, joyless, pointless, and maybe not everybody gets a success story. Maybe not everyone can turn their life around. Maybe some people are so fucking broken from the devastation of what they've been through that they can't actually come out of it and change their life and I used to really believe that if you just wanted it bad enough did I not want to be a cheerleader bad enough did I not want to learn Spanish bad enough did I not want to connect to the universe and manifest easily bad enough? I don't have any answers. I have a lot of fucking, uh, I have a lot of pain. I have a lot of grief. And I guess I'm going to go make this snack now.